This is softy. This preset makes me think of Mr. Rogers for some reason. Hey everyone, it's Dominic, also known as TikTok. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at two new entries into the iOS music instrument category, and they're both based off of one of my favorite all-time instruments, which is the Fender Rhodes electric piano. Uh, so the first one is going to come from uh, the folks at Gospel Musicians and their Neo Soul Key Studio application. It's an expansion called Mark 7. Uh, which is based off of the Mark 7 Fender Rhodes. The second is going to come from an audio kit based application and it's developed by the guys over at Westview Drive, which includes Henny the Business as well as Kennard Garrett. And they've developed an app that is based off of a more vintage uh, Mark 1 Fender Rhodes. So we're going to look at both of these. We're going to compare them a little bit. Uh, I'll give you an overview and then we're going to do some jamming so that you can hear what these applications actually sound like. As always, if you value content like this, if you uh, enjoy it, please consider liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel for more content coming in the future. So without further ado, let's look at both of these applications and uh, yeah, let's compare. So the Fender Rhodes Mark 7 from uh, Gospel Musicians is based inside of the Neo Soul Key Studio application. You open the application standalone and you can go to the browser where you'll be able to see where you can purchase the expansion. So it's available for $3.99. There's also an info button here so you can press that if you want to go to the website, get more info about the actual instrument that they used, as well as here's some examples of the instrument itself. Now the Mark 7 expansion is a 1.5 gigabyte expansion. So you're going to want to make sure that you have some space on your device or if you're using an SSD that you have some space there as well. A lot of the samples are going to include sustain as well as release samples and then a lot of the presets are going to use a mixture of those release and sustain samples mixed along with uh, the mechanical noises that are already available in the Neo Soul Key Studio application. So you're going to get some deeper level sounding uh, samples and presets there. Uh, you also have available to you all of the effects that are already available in the Neo Soul Key Studio application. So things like amp simulators, phasers, chorus, auto panning, tremolo, all of those nice things are all available for uh, creating nice, uh, rich, full uh, presets with these samples. As I mentioned before, the Mark 7 is based off of a more modern sounding Fender Rhodes, which is going to be a little cleaner sounding uh, some say it's a little thinner sounding, but it's still a Rhodes nonetheless and gives you that same Fender Rhodes vibe. This expansion is available in the Neo Soul Key Studio application, which you can use standalone or as an AUV3 plugin in your favorite iOS DAW. So now let's look at the House Mark 1 application, which is developed on the audio kit platform from the guys over at Westview Drive. So this application is a whole new instrument uh, it's a light application, so it includes 150 megabytes of sample data, which is multi-layered and multi-sampled. So you're going to get that same type of depth as you would in any other type of multi-sampled instrument. There are also some knobs that give you those essential kind of parameters like your tremolo, your panning, your reverb. Um, you can change the tuning of the instrument as well. You're also going to be able to uh, dial in some of the key noise so you can get that same level of depth as if you were playing an actual Fender Rhodes. For now, the House Mark 1 is available at $399 as an introductory price. So I really uh, recommend that you go and grab that now. It's also available as a universal app so you can use it on your iPhone as well as your iPad. It is also standalone and also available as an AUV3 application so that you can use it inside of your favorite iOS DAW. So we're going to do a little jam in a little bit. So we're going to play through some of these presets of both of these applications and see what they have to offer. Here is the Mark 7 Rhodes, uh, which is based in Neo Soul Key Studio 2. This is from Gospel Musicians. Uh, the Mark 7 as I mentioned before, is a more modern sounding type of Fender Rhodes. Fender Rhodes, nonetheless, you're going to get that same vibe. It's just a, a different 
kind of timbre to it or what have you. So let's go through some of these presets. Um, and we'll start with this original dry. So you saw some of the samples loading up there. So this is 1.5 gigabytes of sample data. It's kind of like your standard road sound. noise up there you may want to clean up some of those samples there so very nice sounding standard type of road sound that one sounds pretty warm let's look at some of these other presets so here's number two which is the perfect mark seven number one uh, let's see, what shall we play? All right, here's perfect mark seven number two let's see And then here's number four, which is perfect mark seven, number three. kind of improvising here guys so that's perfect mark seven number three here is mark seven times let's choose a different key here so it's a little brighter like i said this is a different type of road sound if you listen you can hear some of the effects that are going on here. Let's see if we can look at some of these effects. So we have some amp simulation going on. So you kind of hear the noise from the amp there. And we have some auto pan. But it's not that deep. Let's see. Let's see if we can change it. There we go. That's an auto pan. Awesome. Let's move on. So here is Mark 7 Cream. Here's Amp Smack. Let's see. All right, so that's kind of an amp affected Fender Rhodes. Here's Amp Smack Swirl. 
So a variation on it, I guess. Here's a chorus to Mark 7. All right. Here is the next one. It's called Herb's EP sound. all day I could play these all day this preset is called studio version mark 7 let's check it out And this is the last preset uh, that it comes with. Of course, you can make your own presets and save those in both of these applications. This is called Sync to Wah. So let's check it out. Very nice, very nice. So that's the Neil Soul Keys Studio Mark 7 expansion instrument. All right, so we have the House Mark 1 roads here. We're going to go through some of these presets and look at some of the parameters as well. So uh, here is how the application opens up. You have your master volume here. Of course, we all know what that does. Then you have some tremolo settings here that you can change. Then you have the stereo phaser. So uh, get some phase going there. And then you can dial in your key noise here. And there's a switch to turn that on and off. Uh, if we tap more up here, then we get a second layer of parameters that we can adjust. So we have our auto pan. We could turn that on and off. Of course, you have a rate to change the speed of it, as well as depth, so that it uh, that dials in how much the auto pan affects the sound. Uh, and then we have a re release, which is nice to have. So we can extend the release, which is not really a necessarily a normal thing that you would do on a, a Rhodes. But to be able to do that here kind of gives you some sound design options. So that's pretty nice to have. And then tuning. So you can change the tuning. Um, we have some reverb here that we can enable as well. And then a stereo option so that we can widen the stereo field of the application. Uh, there's some also MIDI assigned, so we can assign that to our MIDI controller if we want. But I like the way the GUI looks. So uh, House Mark 1, it's called House because uh, Canard as well as 
into the business are both alum of Morehouse College, as am I. And our colors are maroon and white. So it's nice to have that little touch in the application. So that's pretty nice. Um, so let's go through some of these presets. So here's the classic. And this is going to be, I guess, your standard uh, Rhodes type of sound. Pretty nice. Uh, just kind of your standard road sound. I like it. I mean, it's very usable. It sounds good. You can hear those velocity layers there. So it's got depth. You can hear it, you know, a little bit of bark or a little bit of the grit when you really uh, hammer on the keys there. In this particular preset in the upper register, you can can hear the mechanics of the instrument itself so really really nice let's go to the next one this is Henny's go-to it's kind of a reverby type of nice nice Let's go to KG Keys. I assume that's Canard's preset. Let's change the key here. Nice. Here's another one, TRA Mellow. Let's see what that sounds like. Nice, very nice. Here's Electromechanic from this is from Analog Matthew. Nice. So he's got a lot of the uh, mechanical noise in this one. I like it. Yeah. Nice. All right, here's Vibrato mid release. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. Uh, so that is a preset by Daniela Rivera, uh, engineer for Kylie Minogue, and I'm just reading what's in the app here. Um, so it's nice that they have these presets from a lot of these industry professionals. Very nice. Here's Space Time. So it's got some reverb going on there and some of the mechanical noise. Nice to have. This is softy. This preset makes me think of Mr. Rogers for some reason, like that opening. I wish I could play it, but uh, got that kind of bell tone type of uh, sound to it. Here's trim. So I imagine this is going to be a lot of tremolo going on here. So let's see. A lot. Uh, nice. All right. This one's called super nice. So I'll probably say nice. Apparently. Let's see. Creamy. I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Glow-Fi, let's check this one out. So let's see. This is very nice. So this is going for a, a lo-fi type of vibe. Let's hear the next one. This is Pan Heavy Verb. So let's go. Nice. I like this. Let's look at it. So some tremolo, key noise, auto pan, reverb. Hmm. Nice. I like that. Here's the fingers main road. All right. Here's a letter to Nat. Sci-fi to your hi-fi. Let's see what this one sounds like. This is interesting. Uh, let's see. like the low end of this instrument it's it's full it's deep sounding uh i might use this for you know some bass work you know you never know here's the last preset it's called vintage maroon maroon being the primary color for morehouse college let's see So that's the house of Mark One Roads from the guys over at Westview Drive. That's Henny the Business as well as Kennard Garrett. Uh, it's an audio kit based app. Um, also, you should go to their website because they do have the audio kit uh, code, source code for this as open source. So it's available for anybody who wants to develop new apps, new music apps. So I encourage you, if you've always wanted to get into that sort of thing, go look at the audio kit pro website. Um, and you'll be able to get into some of this audio uh, programming. Uh, so just check it out. So that's the Neo Soul Key Studio 2 Mark 7 expansion, as well as the Westview Drive new application House Mark 1. Both are based off of Fender Rhodes uh, instruments. One is the more modern Mark 7, and the other is the more vintage Mark 1 Rhodes. So you're going to get two different flavors there. Both are available for $3.99 right now. So I suggest you go pick those up as soon as you possibly can if you enjoy the Fender Roads like I do. So thanks for watching. 
As always, like, subscribe if you value this kind of content. Hit those notifications so that you're aware of new videos as I upload them. So take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.